Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today's video is inspired by my friends, colleagues and people that I train with. And how it's all started? It started that someone asked me how old I am. And while well, I don't quite like discussing that um, subject because biological and physical ages are different things, I did answer and the reply was, oh, I thought you were 20 years younger. So here's my video. This video and next five videos, it should be six or seven videos together, I will explain what do I do, how I conduct myself, what I consume as food, supplements, why I do what I do. And the aim of series of those videos is to inspire you be better version of yourself. And the main message that I would like to project, it doesn't matter what you do, please do not compete with anyone unless you're in competition as elite athlete or some other sort because you cannot be better than someone else you can be faster you can be stronger you can be in one particular point you could be better than someone else but if you would like truly become better happier stronger healthier you name what's important to you you need to compete with yourself and that's exactly what I started 15 years ago. I've got a picture of myself, and that's only for myself. Um, picture from 15 years ago when I was weighing 105, 107 kilos. And you probably know my story from my channel. I was in Singapore airport. I was transitioning from Europe to Australia and I was walking through the airport by the way beautiful airport at Singapore and one of my laces got undone and when I leaned down to tie it I could not reach my lace that was my breaking point so here's the first point of my video please find motivation within you don't look at the magazine, the old Photoshop, the old brush. Even me, look, I, I consider to be myself as a healthy person. But by all means, when I'm looking at the men's magazines, you know, I know that everything that I see is not real, it's not natural. And if you inspire to be one of them, I'm sorry, a good bad message for you, I think, that you, you won't be, you can't be unless you live a natural lifestyle and this is not what my channel is all about i try to help people to be healthy happy and in best form or shape that they can be for themselves so here you go it was i was 30 years old i was one point uh, uh 105 or 107 kilos so today um in a month's time i'll be 45 years old doesn't matter what I look, I could have a better genetic pool. It's beside that, right? However, from health perspective, uh, let's touch what health is. To me, health is, first of all, it's metabolic health. It's how you perceive your environment, how you digest your food, and how much energy you have at all times. That's your metabolic health. Second is how do you feel your health in a sense um, do you have any chronic diseases do you have any um, uh, no intolerances let's say if you do most of those intolerances I say look I'm talking about for most of the people are not um, minority that truly have a genetic predisposition to something majority of people that I know with all the intolerances they are man-made you can change them you can reverse them why people don't do it it is hard it is easy to take pill and feel better for a second for a minute for an hour what you do you mask the problem I'm here to help you actually feel good most of the time in your life so I'm 45 years old, 
and I was experimenting with my and I wouldn't say weight because weight is subjective I'm still at uh, obese category or overweight because I'm weighing 83 kilos and my height 1 meter 83 so doctor called me overweight at the moment my uh, body fat stays between 9.5 to 10 percent right uh, I experimented to go down to 8% and that was making me unhappy. So body fat is important. Getting leaner doesn't make you any healthier. That's the first misconception. You need fat in your body because too much will uh, create a lot of stress hormone on you. Too little, you would not have enough fat to support your mental stability, your strength, your immune system and even libido. Yes, men can lose the function if they go on below 8%. Be careful with that. Be careful what you wish for. So here you go, 45 years old, um, 9 to 10% body fat. Um, don't have any disease that I would call man-made. Um, I've got my genetic pool of um, whatever I've got. But I'm not on any medication, I don't see any doctor, I feel great, I sleep great, I eat well, and I'm genuinely happy in my life. So, next six videos will be, today it's just about how to perceive yourself and how to be happy, right? General video, next video will be about sleep. Your health is not made in a gym. Your health is not made at dinner table. Your health is not made during a sleep. It's all together. But if I would break it down to chunks, what's important, what's not, I would say not. What's most important, what's least important, sleep. It's where you're getting your muscles grow, when you get your body recovered. This is where you're getting your body rest and digest. All good things happening during a sleep. If you sleep at night less than seven hours, it almost doesn't matter how much you exercise, what you eat, and what you do in your life, you cannot maintain health for a long time. Please make sure you sleep between seven to nine hours, ideally seven and a half to eight and a half hours. Quality sleep, no pills, no substances, nothing. Quality sleep, it's a four different parts that I'll explain in my video. Please uh, subscribe to my channel, like videos, and that way you won't miss anything. But I, subs I, I, I describe sleep in different. So sleep, it will be my second video. Then breakfast. What do you do before breakfast? What do you do after breakfast? Breakfast itself, do you need one? All of that will be in my breakfast video. Then lunch, what you do before eating lunch, when you eat lunch, what you eat for lunch, what you do after lunch, any supplements, that's a lunch video. Dinner, dinner very interesting one because uh, you may choose to exercise in the morning or you may choose to exercise in the evening. So there will be questions asked, do you need dinner? If you do, how much you eat for dinner? What you eat for dinner? When do you exercise? And leading into exercise, I call it gym, but um, exercise could be different. And remember, exercise, it's not what most people think it is. Exercise is stress on the body. And I explain during my video what is important to do um, during exercise, how to do exercise. I won't teach you how to exercise, right? But we will talk about what exercises for and what does to your body. And then we wrap up um, with all together. Every single video would have um, supplements listed on the description down below. And the reason is that our soil is getting depleted uh, from nutrients. Our food supply getting um, very poor in the minerals and vitamins because most of the things are grown hydroponically um, uh, meat is manufactured in a, in our cage environments and it deprives us from 
some nutrients. So while you can get most of your nutrients, and I encourage you to get most of the nutrients from your diet, you still need a little bit of supplements if you're pushing yourself beyond what people call potato, couch potato. So here we are. Uh, I'm 45 years old, consider myself healthy, happy, and I'm here to lead you to be better version of yourself. Please do not compete with me. Don't try to become me. Uh, it took me 15 years to get where I am now. I made a lot of mistakes. I read a lot of scientific studies. I've spoken to a lot of people, get, got exposure, what works for people, what don't. And the biggest one, what I see doesn't work for people is the discipline. So let's start with a simple thing. Whatever I describe in this video and other videos after this, please don't do what you cannot sustain. This is why I don't believe in diets. I believe in lifestyle. You cannot sustain diet. If you diet for a month, let's say your goal is lose weight, uh, and I do believe it's the wrong goal because um, people misunderstand what weight is, but let's say your goal is lose weight. Yes, you lost weight, you achieved this. What do you do? Being on diet, it means deprivation. You cannot sustain deprivation. You need to be happy in your own skin. And that's where all the videos that I will create will try to help you, to guide you step by step how you change yourself to a better version of yourself and sustain it and enjoy it. Everything that I do, everything that I eat, the way I sleep and everything around me, it's what I nurture to be um, very enjoyable. It may be not enjoyable for you. You look at me and say, oh, geez, that's what you do. That's harsh. Might be it would be harsh 15 years ago when I started because I was unfit, unhealthy. But today I truly enjoy doing everything that I do. And believe me, if you make little change every single day, week, month, you achieve what your goal is and much more. So I think it's enough for today. Thank you so much for watching this one. If you would like to see a series uh, about health and how to become a better version of yourself, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button so you don't miss any of those videos. And if you like this video, put thumbs up. It will help um, YouTube pro promote my channel because I'm not getting any um, sponsoring um, organization to sponsor my videos. It's my own time, my own resources. I'm just trying to share happiness and health with people and guide them to be better versions of themselves. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next video.